A House for Mouse, written by Gabby Donnie and illustrated by Alex Barrow. Long, long ago lived a little gray mouse who decided one day he must find a new house. I was born in this tree. Now it's time to explore all the nooks and the crannies from forest to shore. With a flick of his whiskers and twinkling eyes, he packed up his stuff and he said his goodbyes. Over mountains and meadows, by road and on track, went the little gray mouse with his bag on his back. When he stopped for a rest and a nibble of nut, he at once saw a house very much like a hut. It is cozy and warm, thought the mouse. I can see that a house made of straw is a great place to be. Until all of a sudden, there came a loud cough. And before Mouse could move, the whole roof had blown off. Straw is too dry, thought the mouse. So are sticks. Perhaps what I need is a house made of bricks. Over mountains and meadows, by road and on track, went the little gray mouse with his bag on his back. While he paused for a moment to chew on a flower, he looked up at a house that was more like a tower. Just imagine the view, thought the little gray mouse. I will find at the top of this very tall house. Though he searched high and low and walked all the way round, the door to this house was nowhere to be found. No way in, thought the mouse. That is not very good. I had better keep house hunting here in this wood. As he walked through the trees, he could smell something nice, rather sweet, like a cake made of sugar and spice. Perhaps it is tea time, thought the little gray mouse and he followed his nose to a gingerbread house. It was covered in icing and dotted with sweets. There was chocolate piping and all sorts of treats. But a house made of candy is one giant snack, and when Mouse had a mouthful, it started to crack. Just imagine the mess it would make in the rain, thought the mouse as he started his journey again. When he next stopped to rest, sitting down on a root, he discovered a house that looked just like a boot. A room and a shoe, cried the gray little mouse. I feel sure that a shoe would make a wonderful house. Then he peeped through a window and saw all the toys. There were so many children, and oh, what a no! Maybe not, thought the mouse. It is ever so small. There is no room for me. There is no room at all! I think pears are ideal when it comes to a shoe, because one may be fun. But there's more room in two. No, I don't want a cake or a house made of straw. And I'd rather not live in a tower with no door. Not a single house right. This is no good at all, said the mouse. Then he paused as he'd come to a wall. The wall of a castle. Could this be the place? Oh, the building was perfect. It had so much space. What? With ballrooms and turrets? A bedroom? 
Oh, or ten! This is it! cried the mouse. I'm not moving again! Then he ran here and there, and all over the house. I know something's missing, said the little gray mouse. For the castle was silent, as silent as stone. And the little gray mouse felt so very alone. But then all of a sudden, a knock at the door sent a boom through the castle from ceiling to floor. With a flick of his whiskers and twinkling eyes, the mouse ran to the door. And then what a... Surprise! cried his friends. We are here and can see that this castle of yours is the best place to be. So they feasted and danced, and they filled it with laughter. My house, cried the mouse, will be home ever after. For as far as you move and wherever you roam, it is family and friends who turn house into a home.